The Book of Enoch, chapters 91 through 93, Enoch's Book of Admonition for His Children, and the Apocalypse of Weeks. Chapter 92, the book written by Enoch, Enoch indeed wrote this complete doctrine of wisdom, which is praise of all men and a judge of all the earth, for all my children who shall dwell on the earth and for the future generations who shall observe uprightness and peace. Let not your spirit be troubled on account of the times, for the holy and great one has appointed days for all things. And the righteous one shall arise from sleep, shall arise and walk in the paths of righteousness and all his paths and conversation shall be in eternal goodness and grace. He will be gracious to the righteous and give him eternal uprightness and he will give him power so that he shall be endowed with goodness and righteousness and he shall walk in eternal light and sin shall perish in darkness forever and shall no more be seen from that day forevermore. Chapter 91. And now my son Methuselah, Call to me all thy brothers, and gather together to me all the sons of thy mother. For the word calls me, and the spirit is poured out upon me, that I may show you everything that shall befall you forever. And thereupon Methuselah went and summoned him all his brothers, and assembled his relatives. And he spake unto all the children of righteousness, and said, Hear, ye sons of Enoch, all the words of your father, and hearken aright to the voice of my mouth. For I exhort you, and say unto you, Beloved, love uprightness, and walk therein and draw not nigh to uprightness with a double heart, and associate not with those of a double heart, but walk in righteousness, my sons, and it shall guide you on good paths, and righteousness shall be your companion. For I know that violence must increase upon the earth, and a great chastisement be executed on the earth, and all righteousness, all unrighteousness, shall come to an end. Yea, it shall be cut off from its roots, and its whole structure be destroyed. And unrighteousness shall again be consummated on the earth, and all the deeds of unrighteousness and of violence and transgression shall prevail in a twofold degree. And when sin and unrighteousness and blasphemy and violence and all kinds of deeds increase, and apostasy and transgression and uncleanness increase, a great chastisement shall come from heaven upon all these, and the Holy Lord will come forth with wrath and chastisement to execute judgment on earth. In those days violence shall be cut off from its roots, and the roots of unrighteousness together with the seat, and they shall be destroyed from under heaven. And all the idols of the heathen shall be abandoned, and the temples burned with fire, and they shall remove them from the whole earth, and they shall be cast into the judgment of fire, and shall perish in wrath and in grievous judgment forever. And the righteous shall arise from their sleep, and wisdom shall arise and be given unto them. And after that, the roots of unrighteousness shall be cut off, and the sinners shall be destroyed by the sword, shall be cut off from the blasphemers in every place, and those who plan violence, and those who commit blasphemy shall perish by the sword. And now I tell you, my sons, and show you the paths of righteousness and the paths of violence. Yea, I show them to you again, that you may know what will come to pass. And now hearken unto me, my sons, and walk in the paths of righteousness, and walk not in the paths of violence, for all who walk in the paths of unrighteousness shall perish forever. Chapter 93, The Apocalypse of Weeks. And after that, Enoch both gave and began to recount from the books. And Enoch said, concerning the children of righteousness, and concerning the elect of the world, and concerning the plant of uprightness, I will speak these things. Yea, I, Enoch, will declare them unto you, my sons, according to that which appeared to me in the heavenly vision, and which I have known through the word of the holy angels, and have learnt from the heavenly tablets. And Enoch began to recount from the books, and said, I was born in the seventh, in the first week, while judgment and righteousness still endured. And after me there shall arise in the second week great wickedness, and deceit shall have sprung up, and in it there shall be the first end. And in it, a man shall be saved. And after it's ended, unrighteousness shall grow up and a law shall be made for the sinners. And after that, in the third week at its close, a man shall be elected as the plant of righteous judgment and his posterity shall become the plant of righteousness forevermore. And after that, in the fourth week at its close, visions of the holy and righteous shall be seen and a law for all generations and an enclosure shall be made for them. And after that, in the fifth week at its close, the house of glory and dominion shall be built forever. And after that, in the sixth week, all who live in it shall be blinded, and the hearts of all of them shall godlessly forsake wisdom, and in it a man shall ascend. And at its close, the house of dominion shall be burnt with fire, and the whole race of the chosen root shall be dispersed. And after that, in the seventh week, shall be an apostate generation arise, and many shall be its deeds, and all its deeds shall be apostate. And at its close shall be elected the elect righteous of the eternal plant of righteousness to receive sevenfold instruction concerning all his creation. 
For who is there of all the children of men that is able to hear the voice of the Holy One without being troubled? And who can think his thoughts? And who is there that can behold all the works of heaven? And how should there be one who can behold the heaven? And who is there that could understand the things of heaven and see a soul or a spirit and can tell thereof or ascend and see all their ends and think them or do like them? And who is there of all men that could know what is the breadth and length of the earth and to whom has been shown the measure of all of them? Or who is, or is there anyone who could discern the length of the heaven and how great is its height and upon what it is founded and how great is the number of the stars and where all the luminaries rest? Chapter 91. And after that, there shall be another, the eighth week, that of righteousness, and a sword shall be given to it, that a righteous judgment may be executed on the oppressors, and sinners shall be delivered into the hands of the righteous, and at its close they shall acquire houses through their righteousness, and a house shall be built for the great king in glory evermore. And all mankind shall look to the path of uprightness, and after that, in the ninth week, the righteous judgment shall be revealed to the whole world, and all the works of the godless shall vanish from all the earth, and the world shall be written down for destruction. And after this, in the tenth week, in the seventh part, there shall be the great eternal judgment in which he will execute vengeance among the angels. And the first, the first heaven shall depart and pass away, and a new heaven shall appear, and all the powers of the heavens shall give sevenfold light. And after that, there will be many weeks without number forever, and all shall be in goodness and righteousness, and sin shall no more be mentioned forever.